Hi everyone, welcome back to part 8 of my hard difficulty playthrough for prototype. In this video we're going to be doing the missions Confessions and End of a Knife. Now Confessions is basically a really short mission which involves a cutscene so the main focus will be End of a Knife. Hope you enjoy. Man, you look like shit, but this might help. Look, Mom. No, but they're watching someone for him. Okay, it's this doctor named Bradley Ragland. Where is he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a good guy. Okay, you find him. He helps us get to McMullen. He's uptown at St. Paul's Hospital. He runs the morgue there. Wait, wait, hold up. There's more. All right, so I did some research on uh, Hope, Idaho. It, it was an army town. On July 21st, 1969, it vanishes from the map. The official word was that it was an anti-government gun nut standoff. Some militia killed a bunch of people, and the feds killed the militia. Now, there was only one survivor. Notice a girl, second from the left. Elizabeth Green. Who looks an awful lot like a college student these days. Not bad for 55 years old. Hope Idaho was an experiment. How could you possibly know that? The people I've killed, they're in me. I can hear them. See the things they've what the done. What the fuck are you talking about? I can understand it all. I'm supposed to do these things, but it's right. I can feel it. Find Ragland and ask him about McMullen. Feeding on me. Structures in the parietal lobe resembling parasitic infection. Dr. Ragland? I've already said I won't deal with you people. My medical opinion's not for sale. I'm impressed. What is it you want exactly? Your help stopping the virus. Why? You could say I'm symptomatic. So pick a side. I'll tell you what I know. But first, we need to find where the military has patient zero. Okay, the bodies from the first outbreak are the key. Blackwatch specters took them. Find the specters, find the bodies. Maybe I can find some answers. So when you get to this point in the mission, in End of a Knife, you mainly want to try and stay in the vehicle as much as possible, since you don't have any powers whatsoever, and vehicles is more or less the only option you have, so get in the APC straight away, take out the enemies around this area, and then move to the hive for the next section.
strike package, Bravo is away. Repeat, Bravo is away. Strike package deployed. You may fire freely. Fire support overhead. Marines, see various targets. Can you laser the hostile for us? Over. How do you catch the attention of an officer? You start killing all his men. When you get to this section, you want to grab a tank straight away. And also, in this section, there's going to be quite a lot of other tanks coming after you and APCs, so you want to mainly keep an eye on your tank's health all the time, because if it blows up and you take a fair bit of damage, as you saw, when I first stole the APC in this mission. Now, now, while you're in free mode, I highly recommend you frequently look at the map to see if there's a plus sign on the military base, meaning there will be upgrades for vehicles that the military uses along with weapons that they carry. So you want to mainly try and get all these as quick as possible since they can really benefit you in these next few missions since you don't have any powers. At this point in the mission, I took a fair bit of damage, meaning that I was put into adrenaline rush mode. Now this is a really good upgrade to get since it allows you to potentially use a devastate attack as a last ditch effort to save yourself. Now I used this time to run away for a bit, hide and regain my health and now I go back down and steal another tank at full health. Now when it comes to this point in the mission where you've got to consume the last guy in the APC, 
I don't recommend you do what I did where I ran in it more or less low health but then it paid off in the end because after you after you open the hatch you're invincible from any attack until you see the tank's health appear on the left hand side of your screen. Anyway, fast this mission complete for this episode. Hope it helped and I hope to see you in part nine. Thanks for watching. It was perfect. They used Karen to get to me. Used the genetic material I'd collected to make a weapon to try and take me out. By the time I discovered she was working for Blackwatch, she was gone. But I had a bigger problem. A weaponized cancer was eating me from the inside out. I needed a doctor, okay? A special kind of doctor. I needed Ragland. How did it feel to be infected with something you couldn't control? Like my own body wanted me dead. Did you ever consider how the parasite felt? An intelligent cancer ripped from its host. Yeah, I did. Once. Right before I killed it.